What's up YouTube? This is your boy Chris and today I will be building a gaming PC on a budget. Some of the components that I'm using is left over from a previous build and that makes this a perfect gaming PC on a budget. I will be using the Asus Z97 Pro Gamer motherboard. I will be using the Intel 4590 processor. I will be installing two hard drives. One would be a two terabyte 7200 RPM Seagate. I will be installing the PNY 480 gig SSD. For my processor cooler, I will be installing the Hyper D92. I have an Asus optical drive as well as an EVGA 1000 watt power supply two sticks of Viper Extreme DDR3 RAM. I will be installing two GeForce GTX 660s and I will be running them in SLI. And for my case, I will be using the Corsair 300D windowed case. But enough of looking at components, let's just go ahead and get started. This is the Asus Z97 Pro Gamer motherboard. I'm going to install two sticks of Viper Extreme DDR3 RAM. I'm going to line up the notches on the RAM with the notches on the DIMM slots and I'm gonna snap it in. Again, I wanna line up the notches. Next, I will install the processor. I wanna line up the arrow on the processor with the arrow on the motherboard. I want to be careful not to bend the pins. Next, I want to install the processor cooler the Cooler Master Hyper D92. And basically I want to set the processor cooler on top of the motherboard. I'm going to remove the warning label. Okay, I've installed the brackets for the processor cooler. Next, I want to take my thermal paste and put just a pea size on top of the processor. I'm going to gently just sit it on top of the processor. And I want to tighten down the bolts on both sides. Not too tight, just snug it down. Okay, next I could go ahead and replace the fans and put them back on the processor cooler. Now I can take the fan headers and plug them directly into the motherboard. And now I can take the fan and plug it into the fan header on the motherboard. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and get this motherboard into the case. I want to go ahead and prepare the case. This case was left over from a previous build, so I need to remove 
the entire contents. I have removed the entire contents of the case. Next, I need to install the motherboard. I want to install two fans on the top of the case. I have installed two fans. Next, install the motherboard. I want to tighten down the motherboard screws. Next, I want to install the rear fan. Now that I have the fans installed, I want to plug the fans into the motherboard. Next, I want to go ahead and install the power supply. I want to mount the power supply with the fan to the bottom. Tighten down four screws. And now that I have the power supply installed, I want to connect the 24 pin cable. I want to plug in the eight pin CPU cable. I've connected the CPU cable to the power supply and the motherboard. Next, I want to run the rest of my power supply cables. I want to connect my USB SATA cable. Next, I'm going to install the hard drive. I want to line up the notches on the hard drive slot. I want to connect my SATA cables. Next, I want to install the optical drive. Before I install the optical drive, I'm going to go ahead and connect my SATA cables. I want to tighten down the optical drive. I can go ahead and connect the optical drive cables.
replace the front panels. I can go ahead and get the motherboard wired up for the graphics cards. Install the SLI bridge. The knockout panels have been put back in. The only thing remain is to get it booted up into the BIOS. I will then install the 480 gig SSD and then my project will be complete. Let's connect the power. I want to turn on the power supply. And this will be the first boot. It's going to take a minute to cycle through and hopefully she'll boot up. Power on the monitor. There we'd have it. The ASUS Z97 Pro Gamer. New CPU is installed. Please enter setup to configure your system. So she booted up into the BIOS and that's what we are looking for. So the only thing remaining would be to install the operating system, which I will be installing the Windows 7 operating system, and this custom budget bill will be complete. This is your boy Chris, and I will talk to you later. See you. Oh, there we go.